Good afternoon, everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. You may remember there was a massive pile of brush here. All of this was a big, massive brush pile all the way out here. It was huge. I have taken it all out today. The back is sore. I didn't record because the wind was bad. And then I took my new rake, garden rake, and I raked up all the leaves. And that's going to get thrown into the uh, mulching machine. And then over here, I've got a massive pile of brush that I've put together that I will later in the future mulch. So a little, little brush pile here I didn't need to move. All the leaves, so I've cleared up this area. Now I've got to take out a couple trees here, and I'm clearing a path to take the, the uh, workshop camper out to where that tent was. I'm going to move all the equipment that was in the tent, put the workshop camper over there, the uh, tool camper, and then uh, I'll be able to work out here. So that's all I've done today. I haven't touched the camera because it was just it was just too much dirt and wind and it was too noisy. Uh, would, you wouldn't have been able to hear me talk anyway. Now next is I've got multiple piles of firewood. There's firewood all over out here and I've got to get all that condensed. So I've got to start cutting that up and uh, stacking it up and get it all out of the way here. It's 65 degrees again finally so the birds are outside. The little bird, the bigger birds. The bigger little birds. And uh, right now they're asking for their food so I'm going to throw some food in there. They eat a little bit of grass in the beginning and then they ask for their food back. So I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, they love this cage because they can really fly and jump and eat the grass and fresh air. So, oh, and playing around. And it gets them toughened up, getting used to the outdoors. Another week or so and they'll be outside for good. So I've got to build a couple more chicken coops. Now a lot of people are asking me. People keep asking me why I keep building chicken coops. Well, it's because I'm going to have my chickens separated. Um, I want to have them separated by breed and by type and by uh, purpose. So that's why I keep building more chicken coops. So hope that answers all the questions. I keep get, seeing that a lot. But these are really friendly birds. These are the good ones. They love Melanie. All right, well, back to work. Melanie has expanded her garden around the tree stump. And uh, I'll probably cut them flush one day for her. Uh, she wants to plant some more flowers out here. She's working on the other one right now. So, uh, yeah, she's beautifying the place while I'm cleaning up the, uh, the land. Well, it's time for a break. I uh, was working with the chainsaw and I was cutting some logs flat. This one is not flat because the chainsaw jammed up on me and threw the chain. So I put it all back together and I cut down another tree which uh, bound down the chain, that tiny little thing. And I've cut a lot of little trees already and I don't know why that gave me trouble. So I bound up on the chain and ripped the chain off again. And I was working on the chain and I was, um, I don't know what's wrong but I couldn't get it to slide in the rail. I don't know if I, if I bent the bar, shouldn't have because nothing really, there was no weight on anything at all. Uh, certainly wasn't a heavy tree. I was able to pick it up by hand. But um, the chain isn't sliding in this part of the bar. And while I was trying to get it to, to go in place and slide, I tore a nice chunk out of my finger, cut my thumb, and cut off a fingernail. So, I'm taking a break. Um, my other hand earlier, I grabbed a, uh, in the brush pile over here, I grabbed a branch I was going to throw away and wrapped my rat hand around the rose brush and the branch and as I was heaving to throw I ripped up my hand nicely. So now both hands are bleeding and uh, I figure that's a good sign that I should take a break. So um, we are going on a road trip to pick up a uh, guest who's going to um, be with us for a while helping here in the homestead. So. We'll talk to you guys later when we get home, and we'll tell you what's going on. Hi everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project, and our guest here, Chris. How's it going? 
Uh, he's going to be helping out here and there on the homestead for the next couple weeks. Uh, he lives here in the, in the area, and we met through YouTube. So I want to say thanks a lot for coming over. No problem. So you'll be seeing him a lot around here in, in the next few days, and uh, we hope to get this whole garden cleaned up, and uh, or the whole yard. Well, he's here because there's a lot of things I can't do alone, and of course Melanie uh, can't help with so much stuff. So it's good to have you here. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, um, you got to get this video up. We actually met yesterday, but I never had a chance to grab the camera. So uh, this morning we figured we'd do a little intro and then uh, edit part of yesterday's video with part of today's video and get that up there and then later we'll show you what we've been up to and what we're going to be up to here. So talk to you guys later. All right. Take it easy guys.